What? Bad manners from Chief Pat in a battle? You're grounded, Pat. Welcome, fellow fans of Clash Royale, to another Clash Royale episode with your buddy Galadon. Yes, I sat down with Chief Pat and we did some battles. Wanted to talk a little bit more in depth about the heal spell. Uh, make sure you go over to Chief Pat's channel and watch the uh, probably the few times he could ever beat me. Uh, those showed up on his channel. Go figure. And then over here, well, you'll just have to wait and see. But yeah, so we had a lot of fun playing this. Uh, this was on the developer build, so it was before it was available to everybody else. Thought we would give it a try. And now obviously the heal spell, there are some fundamental things that you need to know about the heal spell. First things first, it only lasts three seconds. It's not like a rage or a poison. It doesn't have a real long duration, uh, but it does regenerate a lot of hit points relatively quickly. Here we're going to take a look at the card itself, and as you can see, at tournament standard, in three seconds, it is going to regenerate over 500 hit points in damage. But it is only 176 per tick over three seconds, so it's important to remember that your little units, your little itty bitty goblins and skeletons probably are not going to benefit from something like this. Uh, if they're going to be one shot at that easily. Uh, so you might see me trying some funky stuff like a graveyard heal uh, just for fun. Again, you cannot heal towers with it. You cannot heal buildings with it. Uh, but obviously it's going to work out real well for healing a unit, a single unit or a group of units that have over that 500 hit point threshold. But also remember Pat and I were kind of goofing around so you might see some, well, impractical applications. Check out this one. A little late. Oh, that pretty heal spell looks so pretty, sounds so cool, but yeah. Um, Pat later said he was hoping that I was going to zap those guys. Actually, that would have worked out really well. Had I zapped the minion horde, that heal spell would have healed them right back up to full health. Uh, but I think that the best bet is going to be to drop it on other larger units. And one I've heard a lot about so far, unfortunately for a lot of you Royal Giant haters, yes, the old Royal Giant with a heal spell. Now you'll notice the radius was pretty small when Pat tried to drop it on that minion horde. So that is going to be an issue with units that move quickly like your elite barbarians. Uh, but again, uh, we've seen some cool effects with that heal spell that really makes it a pain to deal with in a lot of situations. You will see how slowly the hit points peel off of a unit when it is being healed. Check out this one right here. I'm gonna drop the three musketeers to counter this P.E.K.K.A. But the heal spell, even with the three musketeers and two towers firing on it, keeps that P.E.K.K.A. up and he's able to get through all three of the three musketeers before she, sorry, before she finally goes down. Uh, but I did manage to finish Pat off in this one. Oh, what's the matter, buddy? All right, so <laughs> that worked out pretty well. A three crown win for the good guys and uh, we'll pop back in to a couple more battles with Pat. Again, a, a lot of fun that Clash Royale is choosing to add cards to the game through challenges. I feel like it's a great extra way that people can get additional cards. I've heard some complaints, but hey, if your first entry is free, then what are you complaining about? I mean, they could put it in the shop for a discount, but that's forcing you to buy gems. If they're giving you a challenge and one free entry, at least everybody who is level eight and up is going to have an opportunity to maybe win some, uh, although these 12 win challenges are definitely a lot harder than the rest. Oh, my army's ready in Clash of Clans. Well, we'll get back over to Clash of Clans in a minute. Speaking of Clash of Clans, you guys ready for the update? Okay, I'll try to stick to one subject at a time, uh, but I will cover some Clash of Clans update related questions and comments uh, from recent videos at the end of today's video. All right, so back into the draft heal challenge, trying to deal with Pat's Inferno Dragon here. There is the heal spell. Gotta love it, but again, it's going to be a learning curve. It's going to be one of those things that is just not going to be really easy to use immediately for some players. Others, I feel like, will just have a natural love for the heal spell, but we'll have to see. My first instinct is to think that it's really an expensive card and, and a tough slot to replace. I mean, if you think about it, the card is really super one-dimensional, meaning at least with your spell damage cards like your Fireball, Lightning, Log, Arrow, Zap, uh, you have the ability to use it on offense and on defense. A heal card, well, you know, 
I guess you could technically use it on defense if you're trying to keep units up as they attack, but I feel like it's just not necessarily going to be a card that you're going to see that much of on defense right there. Pat trying to get that heal spell value. Obviously, more than one unit being healed at a time is going to be ideal. Uh, didn't quite work out there. I was able to stop Pat's Inferno Dragon and uh, we'll throw him. Yeah, there we go. The thumbs up for Chief Pat as uh, we've got one of his towers completely down and about a minute left in this battle. Again, the draft challenges, it just takes some practice getting used to which cards you're going to pick. Uh, I am definitely not a fan of taking too many super heavy elixir cards, although I also feel like the Golem and the Lava Hound can be pretty good cards simply because your opponent is not going to have an opportunity to necessarily put together a deck that really is going to be ideal for countering. Right here, the freeze spell, and okay, the minion horde kind of got wiped out, but the freeze spell saved my butt for a minute there, and we'll get in there, take down that Inferno Dragon once again before it gets to the tower. Now also, when you think about the heal spell, remember that it can sort of replace a card. Oftentimes you've got, say, a wizard or a musketeer that's going to get fireballed on your own side of the battlefield. Dropping a heal spell is a cheap way to basically replace that card with a fully healthy card once again cheaper than the four or five elixir that it might otherwise have cost to get it in there here pat tries to get some great value with the heal spell but the freeze is going to stall those guys out the inferno dragon and the wizard the only ones left after that freeze spell and the match is over and another good game again make sure you check out pat's videos he'll show you the ones where he uh wiped me out all right, so moving on, we'll check out yet one more battle between Pat and myself, and we'll go through the individual choices here. And I usually will try to remember the cards I've picked and then not pick cards that are giving my opponent a natural counter to my own cards. On the other hand, having something like the Skeleton Army when I know that Pat's got the Knight and the P.E.K.K.A., Hopefully it will work out pretty well, but then check this out. Uh, kind of garbage here. Musketeer, Dark Goblin, Rage Spell, one of the least desirable cards uh, in the game these days. It seems like not a lot of people using the Rage Spell. And Pat gets his Collector down right away. The Poison is going to miss my Dark Goblin, who's going to get in a couple of shots before he goes down. And then the Musketeer, she falls to the Poison. Skeleton Army, that was not ideal. Generally, Skeleton Army, not a great card to play right in front of. Oops. Okay, Pat trying, trying, and that would have worked out really well. Had he been able to get that heal off sooner, and that's what I'm talking about. Uh, it's just going to be a matter of timing. Like this timing, this worked out pretty well. Sorry about that, Pat. Sorry, not sorry. As we get in there with a mini P.E.K.K.A., and we are going to annihilate this tower. Beautiful as we take the tower down in the very first push and we move over and take down his elixir collector. Pat right there, a little bit of a mistake. He meant to drop something else. He put the poison on his own tower. Um, yeah. Okay, well, mistakes happened. So, all right. So, yes, I did BM Pat, but it's all in fair and good fun. Okay, so don't worry about it. Uh, never any hard feelings between Pat and myself, except for when he BMs me when he wins. Other than that, never any hard feelings. All right, another beautiful counter as I drop the Skeleton Army right in front of Fire Spirits and the Dark Prince. So I'm um, trying to give this one away. The Mini P.E.K.K.A. gets in there, and we're eventually trying to take the Dark Prince down, but check out that heal value right there. And the heal spell works out pretty well. I enrage the Dark Goblin and my own tower, and surprisingly, the rage works out and kind of saves the day there. And I uh, kept that tower up to almost about half health uh, going into the final minute of this battle. So again, the heal spell at tournament level, 528 points of healing in three seconds. So it's always critical to take a look at the cards that you're using and see if it's going to be worthwhile or not. You obviously don't want to use cards that are going to get one-shotted or could be one-shotted as you're placing the heal spell down. There's a lot of units that it's going to heal up almost completely. The Musketeer, the Wizard, the Ice Wizard, the Knight, the Prince, even the Witch is going to be a great card. Again, the Royal Giant is going to heal up about 20% of its total hit points. And Elite Barbs, well, we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, don't delete the game yet because of the potential of Elite Barbs and the heal spell. I just have a feeling 
that it's not going to be as overpowering as people think. Now right there, that did save Pat's wizard, and he just about took that tower down, but the game time is about out, and he's not going to get a chance to get that poison spell down in time. 80 hit points left, the time runs out, and the tower survives. So it's going to be a lot of fun. I hope you guys are ready for the Heal Spell Draft Challenge. Get in there, get some of those free cards if you can. And uh, yeah, so we went 3-0 against Pat today in the episode. But again, if you check out his channel, I'm sure you guys may have heard of him before. Uh, you might see some stuff over there that looks a little bit different uh, than what you saw over here. But there it is, the Dirty Royal Giant and the Heal Spell. And Pat, well, taking me out and I had no taunts left to taunt with. Uh, yeah, so you want to see that complete one feel free to pop on over to Pat's channel and check that out uh, You might see some stuff like this and Yeah, all right that is gonna wrap up this episode But let me know you guys I know a lot of you are hyped up about the clash of clans update as well So rather than going over a bunch of comments right now leave your comments down below Ask me the questions that you would like answered in a future Q&A video And I will give that to you guys as soon as I possibly can as much as I can until then, thanks for being here. Have a great day. See you tomorrow. Full attack.